Hey, welcome back. This is probably what you're supposed to do. Uh, I have a bunch of little tiny notes. Today's my last day that I'm recording for Paper Mario. Did you like the Paper Mario week? Should I do Banjo Kazooie? Nobody's watching. <laughs> Um, it's up to you, Vault. You get to pick if you're still watching. Or you could suggest a new game. Um, yeah. Wait, I got a bunch of random stuff. I noticed somebody, somebody watched the episode I did where I sang the Sonic song. And I watched that back. I don't like the beginning. I did this shout out. It was a very awkward shout out. I shouted I shouted out this person. I was like, go watch her channel. You're gonna love her. You're gonna love her? That's such a weird thing to say. I was trying to do like That's the thing that's Um, how do I like when you go back and watch like old stuff you did and you're like, oh, that's so embarrassing. It's it's an interesting thing of like, I'm, I, I remember when I was doing that, I'm like, okay, I know this is awkward and I don't really want to do it, but that's the point. Like I'm trying to force myself to do stuff, my, myself to do stuff that I don't want to do so that I get more comfortable doing stuff and I like feel like it's capable of doing weird stuff, I guess. Um, but then you look back at the first time you did it and you're like, <laughs> I wish I didn't do it. But if I didn't do it, I don't know. I'm glad, like, I'm glad I tried to do that. And be like, okay, I have to do a shout out. What do you do? What does a person do when they do a shout out? They're like, oh, come on, you're going to love her. Go watch her video. She's the best. But then when you do it, you're like, oh, you're going to love her. And like the first time you do it, it's like bad. No, 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 no. What? Um, yeah, it's just... That whole thing of like, Oh, I'm so embarrassed about all the stuff I did when I was a kid. Um, and then I'm like, oh, I'm not embarrassed of anything I did when I was a kid. Oh, that's because I didn't do anything. Because I was afraid of being embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't have that thing that other people have, um, where they're like, oh, I'm a kid and I'm just going to do whatever, and then I look back and I'm like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. I was just like, I stayed home all day and played video games, so I'm not really embarrassed of that. So they say go talk to Merlin, which is what I did. Did they want me to sell my fortune? I had Captain Crunch for lunch today. <laughs> First time I've had cereal. I'm like, I just was at the grocery store and I was kind of embarrassed to buy the Captain Crunch, but I was like, I haven't had cereal in like 15 years. Remember Captain Crunch? It's like sugary and crunchy. So I had it. It's pretty good. Path begins right next to Toad's house. If you have any problems getting started, please don't hesitate. Oh, that's nice. Which Toad? Is it this path here? How do I get there? So what are my other little notes? I'm just gonna look up the walkthrough, I think, to see where to go next. First time looking at the walkthrough. Paper Mario walkthrough. No, 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 no. IGN. Okay, IGN. 
Whatever, whatever happened to Game Facts? Do they still have Game Facts? Um, this kind of looks like a Game Fact. It reminds me of going on that website. Gee. Uh, let's see. Patrol Mario. There's the thing. Once you finished. Uh, chapter one. Stormy Cooper Bros. So move out. Okay. When you arrive to Toad, a Toad will tell you. I should have done this. Okay. When you arrive, a Toad will tell you Merlin is waiting. Visit him. His house is the one with the stars all over it. Door will bang open, knock Mario over, Mario on the long side. You need to go to the path of you. Uh oh, it's blocked. Head back to Mario's house for a nap. Then go to see Merlin again. Or go to see the toad. You follow him. Okay. That's weird. You have to just take a nap. I'm almost on chapter one. This is going to be a long playthrough. If I finish it, which I will. Why, why, why wouldn't I? Just take a nap. Um, there's a, com a commercial with Snoop Dogg. And he's like, Is there anything better than sharing a beer with your friend? And I just had the thought, like, Maybe he's right. I've never done that. Maybe that's the meaning of life. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Snoop Dogg? Does Snoop Dogg know the meaning of life? Is there anything sharing a, better than sharing a beer with your friend? He's just kind of like walking down the beach and he's handing beer to people and he's like, I don't know, maybe I should try it. <laughs> okay. Crystal eye open wide. What does he say? Should I be buying items? Probably. You can travel there to the east of town. The path begins to the right next to Toad's house. If you have any problems. Oh. Okay. What happened to the crystal ball? Whoa, that's weird. What's happening? <laughs> Talk about X-Files. It kind of did yesterday. I don't really have much to say about it. I just like it. Um, they have some funny episodes. I like the funny episodes. There's one where they're at like this freak show place and so the hardest I've laughed in a while <laughs> there's a line where one of the freak people is like can you imagine going through life your whole life looking like that and then it cuts to Mulder and he's just like standing with a suit and he's like the joke is like I don't know I, like he's perfect looking and he's like standing like a superhero <laughs> um They were Koopa Bros the whole time. Cool. You know what? The, the memory I mentioned in the first episode of playing this game and getting stuck, I think it was here. I think it was, I, I remember, I, I don't know if this is true, like your memory can be weird sometimes, but talking to my friend and being like, I'm stuck, I don't know where to go. And he's like, you gotta talk to Merlin. I was like, I talked to Merlin, it didn't do anything. The Koopa bros are blocking. And he's like, no, you gotta talk to him. You can't just talk to him and do the thing. 
don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I remember. Oh, he got me. He got me, got me, got me. Gotta work on my timing. There it is. Head bonk him. So far. Let's do another quick quickie note. Quickie quickie note. Did I ever ever talk about the Temple Mount? I don't know if I have. That's another religious thing that I was reading Wikipedia. It's like, oh, that's interesting. Um, I didn't know anything about this. Um. So the Temple Mount is a place in Jerusalem where people believe, and it's probably true, I don't know why this wouldn't be true, but the old Jewish temple, like the Holy of Holy, the, the super important Jewish place, um, that's where it was built, that's where the temple was built, the first temple and the second temple. Um, the first temple was destroyed by... Nebuchadnezzar, right? And then the second temple was destroyed by the Romans. Um, and so there hasn't been a temple there, but like in the 700s AD, um, the Muslim people and the Muhammad people or whatever they and their caliphate remember when i talked about caliphate are you learning um oops they built this temple called the dome of the rock they built it on top of the temple mount which is like the jewish holy place So that's why there's bi there's big like conflict kind of I mean it's part of the whole thing but it's interesting. It's very it's it's complicated. Um, for some reason the Jewish people aren't allowed on the Temple Mount. I guess it's because it's like only the priests of the priests are allowed to be because it's like the most holiest place. But then you think, well, why aren't they upset more that the Muslim people just have a mosque on top of it? <laughs> Maybe they are upset, but they're like, well, what are we going to do? We can't get rid of it because it's like the Dome of the Rock is a super important place for Muslim people, too, because apparently that's where uh, Mohammed rode up to heaven on his steed or whatever, his horse. Um, so that's why that, I guess nobody really knows 100%, but that's the theory, I guess, that that's why the Dome of the Rock was built to like commemorate Muhammad's flight or whatever it's called. But, so, I guess right now it's kind of okay because the Jewish people aren't allowed on the Temple Mount anyway, and they don't want to rebuild a big thing in Christianity and Judaism is like rebuilding the third temple. Like, that's a really important thing. And it's kind of complicated because in Christianity, I think we believe, I don't really know, but I think we believe that Jesus was the third temple and like our bodies are the temple in Christ or something But the Jewish people are probably like no, it's like gonna be a third temple like we had a first temple and a second temple and And then these hippie Christian people came around and they're like we're all the temple <laughs> What if we were like all the temple man? Ouch Uh, 
Um, so I think Jewish people believe that a Messiah is coming and he's going to rebuild the third temple. But some Jewish people believe like we need to build the temple before he comes. Um, but I don't think most most Jewish people are just like, yeah, I just um, Messiah's coming and we're just supposed to be good people until he comes or something. Um, did I go over today? I think I did. What did I talk about? Nothing interesting. Uh, I'm still not comfortable doing this. Mm. I can mess up my hair because it's the last day. I got a huge pimple. Huge. Right here. Should I show it to you? You don't want to see it. I'll show it to you. Oh, look at this right here. But it's nice that I can cover it up with my hair. I don't know what I would do if, if I was bald. Like, it wouldn't be fair. Like, all these pimples and... It would just be ridiculous. I, th I think I thank God every day that um, this balding medicine seems to be working. <laughs> my dad was totally bald by the time he was my age, 28. Totally. Some people. And I feel like I would be too. My brother is bald. He shaved his head. He's 34. He's totally bald. Um... So if I wasn't taking this medicine, you would be seeing some, some recession worse than what I've got going. Oh, God. Let me keep my hair. I don't know. Sometimes I think you just it would be nice maybe if you just lost all your hair and you didn't have to worry about it. But then like, oh, I would look like such a gross person with the pimples and the no hair and the slouchiness like all I really have is my hair <laughs> I don't know some I, I was <laughs> this is mean I don't mean this to be mean but like I was watching Blake Snell pitch yesterday <laughs> pitches for the Padres and it was like that's what I look like I look like Blake Snell, don't I? Do you want to see a picture of Blake Snell? Sometimes I think that's what I look like. He is no, I mean, he's got his hair. He looks, he's more handsome than me. <laughs> and he's a professional baseball player. He's got the eye bags. That's why I'm like, oh, I look like him because he's got the eye bags. This is funny. You can even see the eye bags. This is like a photoshopped picture of him with like nice lighting and everything, and you can still see the eye bags of Lake Snow. Under the Padre's picture. This is what I would this is his, his baseball card. This is what I would look like if I had a baseball card. I would look like a goon. Except, I don't know, the goatee. Why does he have a goatee? I can't grow a goatee. But even if I could, I don't think it would happen. Um, here's, here's Blake Snell. Look at this goof. <laughs> Can you see Blake Snell? <laughs> okay. Well, I hope this week was okay. And I hope the Nets win today. And I hope my pimples go away. I've got some bad pimples up here. Oh god, 28 years old. And we're still getting to pimples. I'm just like... Why am I such a baby? Okay. See you tomorrow, have a good day. Uh, bye. <laughs>